Hello everyone, welcome back to Build and Repair and Restore. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the content. If you do, make sure you give us a like. Don't forget to subscribe and you can also join the channel for exclusive content. Good morning everyone. Welcome back to another video. I am back on site and um, <clears throat> just going to tell you guys the progress update on the situation with our septic tank. So I've just had a meeting with the chairman who um, came down to the site. He had a little bit of a, a confusion where I went to the office at nine o'clock. I was waiting for him for about half an hour. He was on site waiting for us for half an hour. So it was a bit of a communication breakdown between the three of us and the clerk and all that. So she said, you know what? I can't get hold of him on the phone. Don't know where he is come i'll come with you down to the site which was nice and i'll i'll come and have a look and then i can bring it up to the in the meeting with the council and stuff so she jumped in the car we came down here we got here he was here waiting for us so that was cool so he's really nice guy uh, very 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 helpful um we looked at the site i'm going to show you guys it again and explain to you what situ what the solution that we've come up with is so I'll just show you guys again this is our border here it's been cleared and then we go straight up to that to that concrete post there so basically we want to put a fence we want to put a fence just like this fence from here running all the way down to that tree there now this is the septic tank that is halfway on our land and that is the that's supposed to be a soak away so this is sort of Obviously all the crap goes, goes in here, it's deep. And all the water like from the flushing, the solids will sink down to the bottom and all the waters sort of rise to the top. And I guess the higher you get to the top, the more sort of cleaner the water is and all the bacteria and all that stuff. Then when it, it gets to the top of water, there's an overflow pipe. And that's supposed to go into the ground like a soak away. So there should be stones and all that stuff. It should go down into the ground and soak away and then be covered. So whoever did this, they didn't finish the job basically. They dug a hole and then they just put this pipe and it stopped like that. And they just thought, don't care. And the back here, this is a bushy area at the back. So it's a bit, a bit, of, a bit atrocious what they did. But So the situation is that they said this has to go. Thankfully there's enough land all this where this grass is 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 this decided land so they said there's, there's enough space to build it here they're going to build a small septic tank on this land and then they're going to block off the pipe that's going into it which comes from the bathroom just straight here and they'll run it into this new septic tank then they will come with a truck pump all the water and stuff out of this clear it out and they're going to break it down break it down and backfill it and then they will also backfill that hole so that's what's going to be happening with this so thankfully they're on the case they said they're going to take care of it um because i think the lady in the house behind us is a little bit i don't know what the right word is now these days a bit mental so they're sort of looking after her so they said they're going to come sort this out and <clears throat> they will they said once that's done everything should be fine and then obviously i'm going to put my fence here yeah, so that's pretty much the update on this. Um, they said as well that um, hopefully it'll take about two weeks for them to do the digging and, and do all that stuff. Obviously, I'll be on their case, make sure that happens. Other than that, there's not much we can do with the fence. We're gonna have to stop here with this for now. Um, just seen my neighbor here. He's got the chemicals to do the spraying. He's literally just going off to, to um, get his spraying machine. It's like a backpack that they put on the back. They put the chemicals in it and they've got sort of like a, a hose and they pump it and then they, they spray the weeds and stuff like that so that's what he's going to be using to spray all that back area there and um and then he can cut it and then burn all the all this stuff one good thing about the heat is that things dry very quick you can see this was cut yesterday and look how dry it is already it's literally so dry and that's why also in dominica we do have bushfires and stuff because sometimes in the really really hot hot seasons which is kind of now really you get certain places in the mountain where there's a lot of dry bush and then it catches fire 
and you get forest fires and stuff like that so this stuff needs to be dealt with quite quickly um but i think he's going to probably burn this this week he'll drag it all down to like one area and do like burn in bits or whatever and once it's done <coughs> I want to come and start doing a bit of leveling see all this soil that i'm on this massive mound of soil this is all soil that was dug out from from the septic and that and they've obviously just thrown it all here so i did feel like when i came here the last time it was sort of really bumpy like all these different bumps and stuff um but we're gonna like sort of backfill a lot of this and try to flatten this area because where the house actually will be it's actually quite flat to be honest this area is quite flat so um which is good for us which means it's a lot easier to build and our pillars won't need to be so high um it could potentially could be quite low to the ground possibly right down to the ground um which would be ideal for me because i eventually want to build this a second story on top of this and a, a second apartment um on top so the lower it is the better for me so we'll see but yeah, that's it for, for today, guys. Um, it is baking hot. I'm actually heading off a little bit more down to the south, still on the east coast, to a place called Kalibishi, and um, actually going to see one of my subscribers who lives down that area, or who's building a house down there uh, from England. And um, he is... Uh, we've not been able to catch up. We've, we've communicated from London and while we've been here so i'm gonna go up there meet him have a drink and um also i got i, I saw a message a comment yesterday from uh robert clever is that right he's a builder on youtube um check him out as well and apparently robert said that he also owns land in dominica and that he's going to be building here one day so shout out to robert i haven't got back to your comments yet um i was so tired when i got in yesterday um but i'm going to get back to you guys comments as soon as i can but i did see that comment yesterday so shout out to Robert um, and uh, really be interested to see what you're going to come up with, especially because you're a builder as well. All right, guys. So I'll see you guys soon.